For teenagers, knowing what to do with their weekends can sometimes be a dilemma. Looking ahead to higher education or employment can also be quite daunting. Future Pathways is a collaboration between the three secondary institutions, Westside School, Bayside School and the Gibraltar College, aiming to help Year 12 students look at all the available options for life after school. So Kusuma Trust sponsors uh, Jane Marshall from the company Optimising Futures to come over and talk to our students about universities and how to apply etc. And that sort of launches the university application process uh, now at the end of February. Um, and what we decided last year was we wanted to also provide uh, pathways for students who didn't want to go to university. So we set up a number of panel discussions uh, where we invited guests who, who had careers but, but ha perhaps hadn't gone to university and provided that as an alternative. I felt all the pressure in this year, like I need to choose what I want to do for the future. And it's like a lot when you don't know exactly what you do. And this has really helped me so far, especially the uni talks yesterday, with what I can do to prepare. I mean, I've already started, but it helped me like, even more. But also, I'm excited for the panels that are coming. I've done one today, which is really, really interesting. And it's given me an insight on other career options that I didn't know about. And yeah, I think it's really helpful. Even some of the talks that like happened yesterday, like I went to the teaching one yesterday, and I was considering that, and now like listening to it, I'm now ruling that one out a bit. So even if it's not helping me like pick exactly what I want to do, it's helping me pick what I don't want to do, which is narrowing it down for me because I genuinely don't know what to do yet. So I been this morning. Uh, I went to uh, marketing and media because I'm very interested in marketing. I did it last year, level two, and I got very good marks. So I was like, oh, maybe I find myself in marketing. Um, and uh, the next one, I have sport and leisure. Uh, which is something I, I like. <laughs> and also tomorrow um, I have financial services and essential services. It's very valuable for providing insight because even if you're not particularly th seeing yourself in the future as doing this activity in whatever panel you choose to go to, it's still useful for figuring out if it intrigues you or not or if seeing the experiences they have can be attributed to yourself. So you can learn whether or not perhaps this is something you could do or not. It's also good for providing clarity to whether or not it's something you see yourself can doing. Uh, I think the panels were very insightful. Um, I think our speaker for uh, dentistry and veterinary medicine, she was very helpful and she definitely like leads you into the right path onto how to achieve the career that you'd wish to pursue. Yeah, there was a lot of um, information that was really helpful about personal statements, work experience, and how we can sort of narrow down exactly what we want to do in our future careers, which is really good. I want to be an architect, so I kind of know which way I want to go. But there are some people there that didn't know really where they wanted to go, so I think it was a perfect opportunity to hear from every single person who kind of has a little play in the market. I think it was great. And I had a lot of questions that I was able to ask and I got answers to, so I feel like I do know what I want to do. I also want to be an architect uh, and even though I did already know that I do want to go to uni, I found it very helpful to know that there are other options that I can explore and even with uni I can have different courses and when I go to get a job after that I can also have different jobs even with the architecture degree and it's just really nice to know that I can have different options. It's a really nice break in a way from our academic subjects because um, well the whole purpose of this is really to get a wider perspective of kind of the careers that you could take so so far it's really doing its job. Actually yesterday with a whole day of talks and it was just about our career paths what we can um, uh, about life how it can be in uni how, uh, and all the many different things that can that can come in life and so far it's all been very interesting and I think it's an amazing thing that we've been able to uh, do. So what we've done is we've taken the students off timetable for three days. Now, uh, we feel it's very, very important because students are so busy nowadays. They're so bombarded because they, they have access to their mobile phones, you know, a, a lot of the time. They're receiving information from different sources throughout the day. Then they have their activities, they have their exams, they have their pieces of homework to do. So we really felt it was important to take them off timetable and really get in the right headspace to reflect on what they want for their 
future. You know, they're at an age, 16, 17, where a lot of people are, are asking them, what do you want to do? What do you want to study? What do you want to do when you leave school? And we felt that a lot of them didn't have the headspace to really dedicate the time and attention to that thought process. I would really like to see it grow, and we obviously have a list of things to improve on for next year. We'd also like to, so it's been very much a collaboration between education, so the three the three secondary schools in the consortium, Bayside, Westside and Gibraltar College, and we've collaborated with the youth service and it's been fantastic to have them on board this year. And also last year we had already collaborated with CIPD, um, uh, who, who are this committee, this HR committee, uh, and they've collaborated with us again this year, this year so they've really facilitated um, getting all these, these panellists involved. Um, in future, we'd like to see maybe bringing in uh, employment so that we can also uh, have a think about the future job market of Gibraltar and have that as part of the, as part of the discussion in our preparation for the event.